Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I want to show you one of my favorite tricks, and that is model switching. It is deceivingly easy, but very effective. Also, later tonight, join me on my second channel, where I'm going to test a demo for an AI game where I can talk live to NPCs. And then also, we're going to play some video games and just hang out and chat. And of course, recently, I shared a lot of my workflow secrets. So check out this and this and this and this. Let's get started here. The problem this tutorial is addressing is that different models are trained with different images and that has a huge impact on what they can create as an output in the posing, the composition, the dynamic, the colors, the overall artistic style and expression. So here you can see three examples. Two of them are with realistic vision and Reliberate, those are trained on photos. And then we have a ref animated. This is trained on digital art. And as you can see from these example images, the photo trained images look more like you would expect a photo to look. But at the same time, it's a little bit bland. It's a little bit boring and static. Also, the background doesn't really look very interesting. While the ref animated image here has a lot more playfulness, expressiveness and artistic style to it because it is trained on digital art. Here we have a second example of a bride standing in a church. And again, we are facing the same problem where the photo trained models look like you would expect a portrait to look like, but it's just not very interesting. And it kind of misses this dynamic and artistic expression. Again, ref animated creates a much more dynamic and beautiful pose and also overall a much more dynamic scenery. So what is the solution for this problem? Well, it is actually quite simple. You're using the model that gives you the colors, composition and expressiveness that you're looking for to create the image and scene you want. Now for this, I'm using ref animated up here. I'm setting clip skip to two. And I know a lot of people ask me where does clip skip and SDVA selector come from? I want to show you right now. Go to settings. Then on the left side, you look for user interface. You want to scroll down to the quick setting list. In here, you have different parameters. And when you click into that, you have a long list that you can choose from. So you don't even have to type anything in there. In that list, you want to look for clip stop at last layers and also for SDVEA. Then you want to save the settings and you want to reload your UI. Now, here's a second trick I want to show you to make this even nicer. Go down here where it says high res fix, turn that on. You set this to upscale latent, but we are not going to upscale. Set the upscaling to one so you get the exact same size and you don't need a better CPU. Then the denoise strength we're going to set to 0 0.4. This is going to give it the freedom to improve the image, but at the same time, stay very consistent to the image. So what is happening here is that we are first rendering the image in the original resolution and then taking this as an input to render the image again with the same resolution, but based on the details we have already had. And that means we are getting a very nice output with a lot of details and quality in that. Now, once you have found an image that you like, here is the second step. Down here, click on send to image to image. In image to image, we are going to switch the model back to realistic vision version two, and then also set clip skip to one. In the settings down here, you want to set the image either to the same resolution or to a higher resolution to upscale it to add even more details to that. And for the denoise strength, we're going to set it to 0 0.4. Now let's render this first with the same size. And here you can see our results where we compare the ref animated version to the realistic vision version that now looks a lot more like a photo. Of course, because realistic vision is a different model, some details like, for example, the face structure are going to slightly change. This is, of course, also impacted because we are going to use a random seat. Here I have also the higher resolution version that I've also rendered. And then here you have our example with the bright. We have here the ref animated version and again, the realistic vision version. And you can see it looks a lot more like a photo. And this is also the high resolution version. 
And I think this can lead to very beautiful results that give you a more artistic expression while at the same time giving you the style you want, in this case, a realistic photo. Let me know in the comments what you think about this method and what kind of simple and secret tricks you're using to get better results and maybe see you later in my gaming live stream. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Bye! Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.